Hey everyone, Wags here from Eagle Dynamics. In this DCS F16C Viper video, I'll introduce you to the core features of the HARM targeting system, or HTS. The HTS consists of the AN-ASQ-213A HTS pod that can be mounted on the right nacelle hardpoint and the HARM attack display, or HAD. The HTS system can locate, identify, and target surface radar emitters for a harm attack, and it can provide a sensor point of interest or speed as an aim point for another sensor or a weapon. This is a much more powerful harm attack system than just using the harm as a sensor or relying on known enemy radar locations and position modes. Let's get started. All right, so uh, much like we did with the uh, previous two lessons, let's do a use case. Uh, in this case, taking a look at the HTS pod in operation. Uh, like before, we're uh, heading towards uh, Western Iraq, and we have uh, three H3 airfields up ahead of us. And then there's another airfield off to the south, which is protected by an SA-6 SAM site, which is gonna be our target. On one wing, we have a harm, which we're gonna use to take out that straight flush radar. And under the other wing is a WICMID, a CB-105, which we'll use to clean up that SAM site. Let's go to aircraft master mode. Brings up the SMIS, we'll arm the harm. Go to the WICMID, arm that up. Back to the harm, back to the HSD. Now here on the HSD, we see we have you know, yellow circles for a six, a three, and a two. And those are uh, three different SAM sites. And those are placed in the mission editor and are fixed. And they will not necessarily correspond to what the HTS pod sees their location as. Let's go to the other display and set up the HAD display or the harm attack display. So main menu, HAD up here at OSB2. Now, much like building a DBS map, we're gonna need to create some offset from the emitter we want the HTS pod uh, to give us good information on. Uh, mainly because the HTS pod is 100% passive and it's gonna need to use triangulation of the emitter uh, signal to build range and azimuth. If we were to drive directly at that emitter, we'd have no ability to do any triangulation and thus not have any range data on it. Okay, let's zoom into the hat again. So we can see we're in a uh, not SOI, meaning that is not our sensor of interest. So we will naturally go aft on the display management switch. And so we can see here uh, near the bottom, we have our aircraft symbol. Almost right on top of us is uh, wingman number two at 24,000 feet. Uh, coming behind us is a second flight at 24,000 feet, actually a couple of Vipers. We naturally can increase the display range or decrease it. Right now we're in depressed mode. We can also go to centered. Right now we have all friendlies on. We can have just a flight on, all friendlies off, and back to all on. We can see the range rings around us, our flight plan, and the white ovoid here is our harm footprint, which basically indicates the area that our harm can reach out to. And that is going to depend on our altitude, our airspeed, as well as the position mode of the harm seeker. So speaking of which, let's go to the main menu here, go to weapon, make it our soy, Select position. So here in the bottom, we see we're in EOM, which corresponds over here. Change it to a rook, range unknown, a bit smaller, pre briefed PB, quite different. Let's go back to EOM. You can see we have a yellow six indicating the SA-6 site is uh, detected in search mode. So there's three different colors that the emitters will be yellow in search acquisition, uh, red if it is tracking or potentially guiding a missile at you, and then green if the emitter is now off the air. Also with the HAD is our sensor of interest. We have our HAD cursor, which we can slow around with the radar cursor switch. So let's place it over this SA-6 and go TMS forward to designate and hand it off indicated by the red box. Now at the top, we have information about the designation. First, the bearing to it, it's a uh, major axis, meaning the error from this uh, designation in length towards us. 
So it could either be 34 miles this way or 34 miles that way, potentially. And then the minor axes of left and right error, army status, and then we have our position quality. And that can range from a uh, position quality 5 at the least up to or down to a uh, uh, position quality one at the highest and that's going to be based on how good your triangulation is of allowing the HTS pod to build uh, the location of the emitter. And as we get closer we'll start to see that uh, come down. We also see a couple more emitters down here, uh, a couple search radars. If we were to go left on the target and manage the switch now we can bring up the CDD page and that shows us the lat long elevation and time of target if we were to go right, we can actually cycle through the different emitters and automatically hand off. And back to six. If we go aft, we go back out to the CNI. Okay, we're almost in our harm footprint. And we should also start seeing our um, position quality start coming down. And we'll wait for probably our position quality 2 to take that shot. If it's not your liking, you can always come back out to give a greater angle. And it's actually starting to come down now to 4, 3, And Magnum. At this point, we can actually do some real time BDA. Let's uh, move the cursor uh, back onto that emitter. TMS4 to designate. Now there's no handoff because there's no more harms on, that, uh, on the jet. Let's go to the targeting pod. Just brightness. And when we designate on the harm, it also sets our, our speed, so the targeting pod is looking at that same location. Soy. There's the airfield. And let's zoom in. And there's the SAM site. Let's drop a mark. So mark 26. Zoom in. There's a straight flush radar right there. Harm coming in. And we don't necessarily have to destroy, we just need to disable it. See the uh, antenna moving around. And it's down. Okay, now it's followed up with the Wickmate attack. So I'm going to go back to my SMIZ, can power that off, bring up my CBU. Looks like I'm a bit off. Let's go ahead and uh, use that mark point I created. So, CNI, steer point, 27, enter, clear the offset, there I am. Okay, let's bring out the autopilot.
So while we're running in for there, let's go ahead and unleash our wingman on those uh, SA2 and SA3 SAM sites. So go to the radio. Engage. Air defenses. Engage air defenses. You can see on the hat now, we have a uh, segmented blue line indicating where our wingman is targeted. And it'll flash when he actually launches that missile. Okay, well within range, and see me away. And I'm just flying to keep a good look at the airfield. Okay, that's a pretty dead SA-6 SAM site. So folks, I hope you enjoyed this uh, little video on the harm targeting system, and I'll see you next time. Thanks.